Hello, I'm a serious voice here to discuss a not so very serious topic. Why is it that up and coming professional surfers are almost indistinguishable from one another? Do we blame the surf industrial complex, point fingers at professional surf coaches, or is it simply the fault of the air reverse? In an effort to halt this cloning process, we enlisted Craig Anderson, surfing's king of kink, to mentor six teenagers about being original in the most cliche surf destination on earth, Indonesia. Ironic, we know. Sponsors and managers were consulted, parents assured the boat would be dry, alcohol free at all costs. The surfer's diet would be balanced, even organic. But Indonesia is famous for barrels, bintangs, and bang bangs. And these kids were all two international flights away from their parents. So the kids got their chocolate bars and our mentor got his booze. Thanks, Pena. <laughs> As fate would have it, a stiff trade wind blew our 50-foot vessel, Switchfoot, off its course and into the Tello Islands, where an equatorial vacuum halted the breeze and, at times, the swell. This left countless hours for historical film study, in-class learning, invented the gold. Aaron Gorkin. Uh, Aaron Gorkin. Aaron Gorkin. Aaron Gorkin. Aaron Gorkin. <laughs> and when the waves warranted it, surfing. But before we get into that, let's meet our cast. This is Jai Glindeman, a 15-year-old whose stab was turned onto by Taj Burrow after performance in Taj's Small Fries contest. A week before this trip, Jai broke his toe while surfing cloud break, so you'll have to excuse his flightless approach. After fulfilling his sponsor obligation of catching at least one fish on our eight-day boat trip, Levi Slauson could be found hovering high above the lip. Despite his affinity for juice boxes, or as Australians call them, poppers, Al Cleland Jr. was actually the eldest Grom on our innocence trip. Al was also the most comfortable in hollow surf, thanks to his mainland Mexican upbringing. If Jarvis Earl isn't careful, he might just dethrone Stephanie Gilmore as the smiliest surfer on earth. Jarvis's grin rarely left his adolescent face, even, no, especially when he was in the tube. An emerald-eyed teen with a big wave swagger, Kobe Clements was eager when the swell started to pulse. Not only breaking our captain's kneeboard, but also snaking his pal Jarvis in an otherwise empty lineup. Craig Anderson dubbed Winter Vincent as the perfect child, thanks to Winter's regimented zinc application, meticulous wax job, and always immaculate hair. And then there's Craig Anderson, a man who's threaded four lifetimes worth of tubes in his 30 years of existence. He'll play the role of mentor on our innocence trip. I'm absolutely not a mentor, no. Welcome to Craig Anderson and the Stab Innocence. Maybe even the last 10 years, I've just been doing trips with guys I feel comfortable with. So it was pretty exciting just to, I don't know, venture away from that and spend time with, with people that I'd never met. And especially guys half my age was, I didn't really know what to expect, to be honest. But I don't know, the level of performance with all of them was pretty inspiring kind of made me want to surf, surf better. I don't know, I wasn't like too sure what he was going to be like. I always watched him when I was a kid and stuff, so it was pretty rad to just hang out with him. And I like pretty much watched his surfing since I was like four. Oh, I just knew he had a sick style and I was excited to hang out with him. And Yeah, Craig's tube running is definitely one of the best techniques out there. Yeah, he's just so comfortable in there. His style is just so good, and I don't know, I'm gonna try to make my style like his, maybe. So I don't wanna corrupt him too much, but hopefully this old dog can teach these younger guys a couple new tricks, but I'll highly doubt that. This old dog, holy <laughs> How old is Craig? Far out. Yeah. I don't know how old Craig is. Um, 35. 
28? In his 30s. Mid 30s, I reckon. He's about 30 years old. 33, I reckon. Uh, he's gotta be in like his 50s right now. Maybe like 55. Welcome to the STAB game show with uh, six of the best under 16 or 17 surfers of uh, our current time. So let's see if they know anything or everything about surfing and the, the history of surfing. Before the live game show, each kid found a private nook to fill out their test, which included 36 questions about famous airs, turns, and tubes from the last 40 years in surfing. The answers they gave here would determine the official scores in the Stab Innocence Quiz. First place got priority on any three waves they wanted. Last place had to pack a tube on the captain's kneeboard. The subsequent game show was done purely for entertainment. This dog is passed out. I'm gonna sit right next to you. All right, boys. I'm gonna read out the questions and you guys are gonna to have to answer them. I might have to do a couple takes because I'm not very good at reading. Which surfer landed a seamless, lean, full rope, air reverse to win Stab 2019? There we go, Levi. No, 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 I like the yelling. This one should be pretty easy. Who was the first surfer to stick a no-grab double alley oh, Ali Leia. Kobe. That a boy. <laughs> All right. What freckle-face Floridian invented the golf? Aaron Gorkin. Aaron Gorkin. Uh, Aaron Gorkin. Or Dan Aaron Aaron All right. We'll go. Kelly Slater, Aaron Cormican. Cormican. Corey Lopez or Aaron Cormican. Aaron Cormican. In 2011, what surfer defeated Taj Burrow in the Quicksilver Pro New York semi-finals with a hailing Mary frontside full rotation? Kelly Slater. Josh Kelly Slater. Kelly Slater. Kelly Slater. Josh Kerr is a good answer. I feel like Kersey was ripping in that event. And the bonus is sex wax. <laughs> Oh, bonus question. What wax was he using? Sex wax. I don't know that. I call sex wax. Foo wax. Oh, shit. Yeah, winter. Oh, I can, they're burning right now. Still the tape on the nips. No yeah. rash. No rash. <laughs>
I feel like the boards that I that I do ride in certain waves that everyone's like, oh, that, you know, that shouldn't work or that shouldn't make sense. Um, I don't know if I've just told myself that they're the right boards or had like some sort of idea that I've wanted to like try figure them out. But it always kind of has made sense to me, I, and I don't think I'm riding like ridiculous boards in like you know odd conditions. They've always, you know, if it's bigger and barreling, they've got volume and. They might only have one fin, but they've always kind of, I don't know, made it a bit more exciting or a bit more challenging. I want to ride that singleton. Sick. I'd be stoked if you guys want to ride them. Yeah. But yeah, it makes like average surfs pretty fun. Do you want to ride the single fin, Jarvis? But yeah, try catch a couple of waves if you if you're keen, and it's pretty big and chunky. I've ridden him in some sessions where. Probably weren't the ideal boards for the the waves, but I don't know. I find you always just figure it out. Yeah, I've had this I've had this board forever. Probably like five, yeah, maybe ten years even. And I was riding this board a fair bit, and then Greenbush was really good one day, and end up getting a couple of fun ones on it. And yeah, he rides the weirdest boards, but like surfs way better than like us on normal boards. It was like a pretty perfect day, at Greenbush. It was like probably four to six foot and super south. Yeah, that thing's trippy winter. It's, it's hard to ride, but it's got a sweet spot and when you find it, it's really fun. It's pretty, pretty strange, but it's so fun to try to figure out. But yeah, I'll just leave all my boards in the racks, and if you guys want, just take them as you please. No, I'm surprised. Craig was like saying this will be difficult. This is actually the funnest board I've ever ridden. I don't think I'd be able to paddle into a wave in a short board out there. But yeah, you'll find even like knee-high waves on that thing. You can just like yeah. trim and get speed and have so much fun. I hit the hole. That thing is probably one of the funnest words I ever had in my life. Yeah, it's sick. It just, you don't even need a pump or anything. It just goes with the flow and just hit the lip whenever you want. It was cool watching them ride my boards for sure. Well, they just bought boards for, I don't know, high performance waves. And I guess when I was 16, I was doing this exact same thing. I didn't even really know what a single fin or a twin fin was. Yeah, it was cool to see on the smaller days and kind of every day the guys wanted to just experiment or try my boards, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I was surprised at how well they were surfing him. I thought it was fun to just ride what he's riding and get a feel for it. I don't know, had grins ear to ear and sharing waves and it was, I don't know, it was refreshing to see, you know, pretty average waves and everyone just smiling and having fun.
the face surfing quiz. Dane Reynolds made his Dane turn famous at which WSL event? What was that, guys? Snapper in France. One answer. Ali Uba. Ali boy, Al. That turn was fucking psycho. What size Maurice Cole surfboard was Tom Curran riding when he did his famous cutback at Backdoor? Six, eight, seven, eight. Seven, eight, winter. This Australian natural footer, considered to be surfing's first well-paid free surfer, is known for his long, languid calves and unrivaled power. I thought it was Ross. Brendan Margeson. There we go. Beautiful. Margo's incredible. Ooh. Thanks, Peanut. <laughs> yeah, I'm Peanut. Yeah, I'm Peanut. All right, this Hawaiian powerhouse has more triple crowns to his name than any other Sonny surfer. Garcia. Sonny. Sonny the Garcia. That was all around the board. Sonny Garcia. No one comes close to Sonny. I can't read this next question because it's got my name in it. Oh, fight four. <laughs> Correct, it was on a 5 4. It's a 5 4. I bought one on this trip, and you've been surfing really well on it, so it's all yours. Thanks, Craig. Oh, that board is sick. Have you, did you say you've ridden a hip before? I rode one for the first time two weeks ago. He really impressed me on the hip dough. He, I guess he liked the way I surfed it. So yeah, he was surfing really good on that board. Ended up leaving it with him. I hope I haven't corrupted him or anything. I told him only to ride it once a month or when he's like totally overriding a shortboard. Once I go back home, I'm gonna try to surf it from like, like maybe six, eight foot hopefully and see how, if it holds or it just fucking makes me shit. <laughs> I could see him packing a big pit on that board in Pasquale's. I feel like he could make anything work. He's like a really talented surfer and... So the tube quiz. Before Skeleton Bay was on the map, Aussie Wright had the longest recorded barrel at Desert which point. Indonesian wave? Desert Point. Desert point. 
Super Sucks. Super Sucks. Keep guessing, boys. What's the other one? Kandui. Really? Kanduma, right? It's one where, like, they filmed the screen. It's like iconic footage. Yeah, I think Taylor Steele got it and they filmed the screen so they didn't have to pay for it. From the start to the bottom of the point. 18 seconds? Wow. <laughs> this Australian female earned a 10 point Earned a 10 at the 2019 Karamas event for an ultra stylish. Steph Gilmore. Yeah, easy answer. She's amazing. Actually, did, I read this last night and I didn't know the answer. But yeah, what female world champion got a hellacious no hand Steph backside Gilmore. tube at Steph. cloud breaks? Steph. Steph. No, we got this one already. Oh, Tyler. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, we're st <laughs> So I was reading the question again so they could put it in the fucking video, but it doesn't really matter. This surfer recent, recently revolutionized tube riding by perfecting the forehand layback. Hey, Jarvis. Jarvis Harvest. has been nailing these questions. Single Best surfing single. I've seen in yeah, a long, long time. <laughs> All the weirdest surfing. Him and Mason are crazy. So we have the winner, yeah. and I called it too. Levi. Yeah, Levi. Levi! <laughs> Levi got 28 out of 36. Shit. So that's, that's pretty damn good. It's better than what I would have done. <laughs> All right, in fifth place, Jai, 23 out of 36. <laughs> Holy shit. And Kobe, he got last place. Man, I thought Kobe did well. You're the first one to answer all of them. Yeah, I know. What happened? I don't know. I thought for sure it was going to be good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right, let's go, surf. So I lost in, um, in the game show test, and I got to ride the kneeboard for two hours. I think Kobe's just snapped the captain's kneeboard. <laughs> he ditches his board on a one foot wave. And then looked at my board and it just like completely snapped. And I see him pop up and there it is in his hands. The nose is completely snapped off the board. <laughs> and he didn't even pack a bomb. Right he didn't even pack a bomb. Dude, the captain is gonna fucking put someone in a headlock. Oh yeah, I'm scared of the captain for sure. He's coming back. I'm going to hide in my room. I see this. Bayah, you broke your bayah, mate. <laughs> the captain didn't actually make us pay, but he never let Kobe pack a tube on his backup board either. This is the closest Kobe got to fulfilling his quiz punishment.
fall off and back slap on the reef. Then I came in and sat on the boat for about an hour and a bit. And then... Guy, what happened? I just fucking fell off on, in, the, in the tube and hit the fucking bottom on my back. Whoa. Oh, every wave, he just washed up on the reef, though, so... Every time he came up, I saw him checking his shoulder. He pretty much got cut every single day, too. He wasn't on the lucky side, I guess. Definitely unlucky, but, like, the waves that he went were just, like, you weren't going to make those. Wishbone. I only saw that last night. The wishbone is uh, my back leg when I'm doing, when I'm pig dogging, I guess you would say, in a barrel. When he goes backside, he's like that. Goes like that, so there's like a big wishbone sticking out. And you're grabbing your rail and your knees hanging outside of it. They're like the three legged dog. <laughs> I don't know, it looks pretty funny. I'm gonna try and change it, but it looks pretty classic. Change that before you uh, make a new clip. But yeah, it was funny to see them give him shit about his tube stands. <laughs> I wasn't like too sure what it was gonna be like. I mean, I definitely felt like I wanted to surf better to impress him a little bit. Yeah, getting to see kind of what he rides and what he kind of chooses and the different kind of waves there is pretty cool. I didn't see any of them eat veggies. There were a lot of bang bangs and chocolates flying around, but apart from that, I was really surprised at how mature they all were. Yeah, just good, good guys. My favorite part, when Craig said it was okay, doesn't really care how I put a hole in the birch board. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, god. double up. Oh, oh my god. Look at the style on it. Oh, 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 not, oh, not the easiest oh, wave to ride either. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Really fucking good. That was impressive. Guy went um, back out after scraped back. Oh, saying no. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, That's fucked. Oh, he snapped his board. Oh, <laughs> That way, there was no way in hell he was going to make it, though. That was crazy. I think because all you guys were hurting him. On my single thing. Oh, 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 oh,